Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yamshai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect Akim out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Alright, um, this uh, video is going to be about uh, Jacob's trouble. I'm going to start uh, with Matthew's, uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that uh, ye be not troubled, for all the things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation uh, shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Alright? So, breaking that word, uh, nation, nation shall rise against nation. You know, that's, that's talking about uh, 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 your biblical nationality, all right? Your race, you know, what, what your forefathers were. In kingdom against kingdom. Now, that's talking about, like, what you know today as nations, all right? Like countries. Um, and there shall be famines and pestilences, you know. Uh, like, you got the flu epidemic going out right now because it's flu season, but it's, like, you know, higher rates than any other year, um, famines, uh, you know, food shortages, you know, because, you know, uh, the winter in America was really whack, you know, it probably, uh, it probably didn't, uh, kill all the, all the bugs that it needed to, you know, the bugs usually eat up all the crops, you know, when it's time to grow them, or, you know, it may have gotten too cold for some states in the winter because, like, it snowed in, like, Florida and Texas, you know, this year, which is really weird. It, it snowed in the Sahara Desert, you know, which it, it's, it gets really cold in deserts, but, you know, like, at night, but still for it to snow is, like, really weird because it's not supposed to uh, rain, like, precipitate that much in, in deserts, you know, but, um, you know, when it gets too cold in the, those, uh, crop producing areas, you know, it may not, uh, grow, you know, right in the, in this, when it's time to grow, um, and those earthquakes in diverse places is because, you know, Esau's got this heart program, and these, uh, nations are, or these countries are testing their nuclear power, when they test it, you know, it shakes the earth, you know, when when they when they dropped the bomb on uh, in Japan, those bombs in Japan, they said that you know earthquakes could be felt like throughout the world. Um, but uh, you know that's that's what it's talking about, and, and and also the Lord's like pretty mad at this place, so he he's he's causing earthquakes too. Um, all these are the beginning of sorrows. All right. So th this is how you know that we're in the end times, because all these things are happening. You know, uh, rumors of wars, pestilence, famines. You know, if you want to believe it or not. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. You know, you know, pe people scoff at the prophets for telling people that America is going to get it, be destroyed. Um, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another, all right? Because, you know, the prophets are stirring up these spirits, man, these spirits that are uh, out here, you know, because, you know, they, they, they're they starting to realize that uh, that they're wicked because they're offended, and now they're starting to hate, hate each other, all right? You got, like, people bugging out now. You know, pe like, road rage is, like, at an all-time high, man. Um, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity uh, shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Uh, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right? Yeah, because it said, uh, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Yeah, when, you know, martial law and stuff like that happens, race, like, big-time race wars, civil wars, you know, the un other countries start coming over to America, you know, that's that's when you're going to really start seeing all these false uh, prophets, you know. Because, uh, 
because you know people are gonna be looking for answers in that time you know when all hell breaks loose you know it says you know they'll be running from sea to sea uh searching for the prophets of the lord but they're not going to be found you know but they are going to find uh deceivers you know coming up with their uh bullshit ass cults you know which cult cults cult a cult is just means worship you know that's where you get the word culture from um you know the the you know, basically, Christianity is nothing but a big cult, you know? You know, cult, the word cult just means worship, but it's a false cult. You know, you're going to have a lot of false cults, false religions, false hopes uh, in these end times, you know? Because a lot of people are going to uh, tell you that, you know, that they're the Savior, they're anointed, you know, they have the right way to salvation just so they could rip you off just like they do, you know, today, you know, but it's going to be like a, e even higher, you know, when all hell breaks loose, um, you know, it says, uh, but he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, you know, so you got to keep fighting till, till you do die, or, you know, you get that new body, you know, until, until you get that crown, which I'm going to get later, um, I'm, I'm going to go to second, uh, second Ezra, um, chapter fifteen, verse. Uh, uh, I'll start at verse three, and I'm gonna I'm gonna jump around. Uh, it says, "Fear not the imaginations against thee; let not the incredulity of them trouble thee." that speak against thee, alright, so yeah, I mean, you know, we're going to be interrogated for nothing, you know, we're just preaching the word, you know, and people, uh, pe people, you know, bug out, you know, when, when they hear the truth, you know, they start coming at the messenger, and really it's because they hate, you know, they hate the most high, and they hate his uh, commandments, you know, what's demanded of people. Man, you got this fucking train coming. All right. Um. Uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm pause the video and wait for this train to pass. It's lucky. All right. Hey, that's spiritual. I paused it right at 7:44. Uh, I didn't realize that till I just was recording. Um. Anyways, um, I'm gonna jump to Second Ezra chapter 15. Um. I mean, really, this whole chapter is, you know, on point. Uh, I'll start at 14. Uh, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. You know, they're going to start taking up weapons. You know, guerrilla warfare, you know, is what's going to happen in, like, in the streets, you know. It showed you that on uh, that movie Bushwick in, uh, on Netflix. You know, um, it was about civil war, you know, like southern states seceding from from America and, uh, you know, trying to take over the, the northern states. And, you know, like the people in the projects, you know, had their own, own weapons, you know, starting to kill the, kill the rebels, I guess you could say, and like taking up their weapons. Um... You know, and that and that happened down there in uh, Texas, when uh, when uh, uh, martial law was declared there uh, during the floods. You know, um, you know because you know how Texans are with their guns. You know, they when martial law is declared, they say uh, they said, uh, um, you know, we need to confiscate you know all the guns because you know of loo looting and rioting because, you know, there's food shortages. So they started, you know, lo looting, uh, looting stores. You know, when, <laughs> when the wall tried to, to come in and take their guns, you know, they didn't like that shit. So they, <laughs> they started having, you know, wars against the, the alphabet boys, you know, the CIA and FBI and stuff like that. Um, you know, they, they were shooting at each other, you know, 
you know, civilians were trying to protect their sto uh, their stores with guns. You know, citizens were trying to, you know, rob stores with guns. And what also happened is, uh, you know, they set up uh, malls, malls and uh, and like WalMarts and stuff as as a uh, uh, I forget what you call them, but uh, I I think it's called advantage points. You know when um, you know basically the army comes in and uh, you know sets it up to where uh, to where uh, um, you know they they have like a bunch of ammo stocked up there and and guns. Um, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right, you know, they're not going to care about the, the, the laws of the land, so to speak. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. You know, that's, that's that martial law, you know. You're not going to be able to uh, stay out past a certain, uh, a certain time. Um, you know, when martial law was declared, uh, you know, during the Boston bombing, you know, people were locked in their houses. They weren't allowed to go out. They said if you do go out and you are seen out, you know, you're going to be viewed as a terrorist and going to get shot. You know, it showed you on that movie um, about the Boston bombing uh, with Mark Wahlberg, uh, Patriot's Day, that's what it's called. Um, uh, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and many shall be afraid. You know, there's no, no other, there's no prouder people in and the world than Americans, man. You know, they think just because they're free that they can get away with whatever that they want. You know, but judgment is coming. Alright? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses uh, with the sword and spoil their goods because the, of the lack of bread and uh, for great tribulation. You know, that's basically what I was saying. You know, people are going to you know, they're not going to say, they're not going to be loving their neighbor uh, in these times to come, man. You know, they're going to be hating their neighbor, you know, and, and taking over their houses, you know, taking over land and spoil their goods, you know, which is their food because there's going to be a lack of it, you know. That's that, that's part of that thing, man. Trouble, troubled times are coming, all right? Um... Uh, I'm going to jump to 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 17. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days, all right? This, this is Ezra speaking, you know? Because he saw all these things and he was like, you know, uh, destruction is me, destruction is me. Who, who's going to deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. Uh, what shall I do when these evils shall come? You know, behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as uh, scourgers uh, for amendment. You know, you know that's, you know, he, he he was sore afraid when he saw those visions. All right, <laughs> you know, but uh, you know, um, I'm I'm gonna get this. Uh, This is uh, Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of uh, salvation. The fear of Yahweh is is his treasure. All right? So that, that's that's the key, man. You know, this, this wisdom and knowledge of what's coming to happen. And, uh, you know, it's going to be the strength of that salvation. So to answer uh, uh, Ezra's question, like, you know, who's going to save me? You know, the Lord's going to save you in those times. You know, you just got to know what's happening. Because he didn't really know what was going on. But we got an understanding of uh, what's going on. Because we're in those end times, all right? Because, because you know, our, our faith is going to be increased, you know, when those times come. And knowledge is, is uh, going to be increased in those last days, all right? Um, you know, the fear of the Lord is his treasure, all right? So, I mean, if you're fearing the Lord, you know, and you're doing the right thing, then that's, that's how you're going to be safe. 
Alright. Um, verse 7. Alright, so like your Israel, you know, my, that's Satan, man. I've never seen, uh, my phone, or my, this is my phone. I I'm recording on my trap phone is what I like to call it, but I've never seen it die on 25%. Alright, that's, 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 that's Satan right there. Alright, um, I left off at, uh, Isaiah chapter 33, verse 7. Behold, their valiant ones shall cry without the ambassadors of peace shall weep bitterly all right you know what uh they call those un troops um uh peacemakers you know they they hypocritically called that because wherever they go they stir up uh uh war you know even more more uh, uh war than you know before they got there um and also you know it's talking about these uh false preachers you know prophesying uh peace um, you know, they're going to cry out. The highways lie waste. The wafering uh, man ceaseth. He hath broken the covenant. Uh, he hath despised the cities. He regardeth no man, you know. That, you know, the, the, constitu the Constitution isn't going to be in place when uh, martial law uh, breaks out. You know, if you do research on martial law, it's when basically the president becomes the dictator. You know, he can do whatever he want. He has uh, control of everything. You know, cities go on lockdown. Um, he, he can put boots on the ground and confiscate uh, uh, as many weapons as he, want, as he wants. Um, and and uh, his, his terms, uh, you know, the four-year term or whatever, you know, he can stay in power as long as he wants until, you know, the conflict is resolved. Um, um, yeah, man, he's, he's not gonna, uh, he's not gonna care about the Constitution in that day. Um, let's see, hold on. This is, uh, Jeremiah chapter 51. Verse 30, the mighty men of Babylon have have uh, forborne to fight. They have remained uh, in their holds. Their might hath failed. Uh, they became as women. They have burned their. They have burned her dwelling places. Uh, her bars are broken. All right. So that's talking about um, you know the the mighty men of Babylon. You know the soldiers. You know the you know the top top soldiers ones that you don't even know about you know fuck the seal the uh seal team six you know they, they don't do a good job of keeping it secret i'm talking about like the ones that like um you know that that can like walk into a dark ass room and like put six bullets you know right between six or more than six people's heads you know like right in between the eyes you know without like looking like top 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 you know men and it says uh their might have failed they became as women you know they're gonna be they're gonna bitch up basically you know they're gonna be hey man satan keeps like i'm not even live i'm not even connected to wi-fi i don't know how satan's getting a hold of my my phone and my trap um i, I just got one more scripture i'm gonna end it uh, this is uh, Revelation chapter 2 verse 10 Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison That ye may be tried And ye shall have uh, tribulation ten days You know, that's you know, just completion It may be more, it may be less Be thou faithful unto death And I will give thee a crown of life Alright So be, remain thou faithful unto death, man Um you know, fear none of those things that thou shalt suffer, all right? So, yeah, I mean, you you know, you shouldn't fear death, all right? Um, you know, because, you know, you don't really die. Uh, you know, you just go into the spiritual realm. And really, right after you die in these last days, you know, you're you're coming back in that, in that um, you know, that changed body, that new body, you know, and you're going to be fighting... Um, you're, you're gonna be on the forefront with you with you how it shot 
Alright. Um. Um. You know, and it says, uh, uh, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Alright? So we're going to be locked up. You know? Um. That ye may be tried. You know? So it's just, it's just a trial, man. It, it's just the most high scene if, you know, you, you'll, you'll still remain faithful unto death. You know? So it's just a, trial that that's Jacob's trouble is just a huge trial man all right this is that last hurrah to see if you're worthy of that crown of life you know seeing if you're worthy to be a king and the kingdom to come all right um and ye shall have tribulation ten days all right be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life, all right? That crown of life is going to be an actual crown, you know? It's going to be a beautiful moment. Uh, Ezra talks about it, too. Um, it says, uh, who, who are these uh, in white apparel? Um, uh, and being crowned, um, you know, it's those who stood so boldly uh, for, for the Lord, you know, roughly paraphrasing. Alright? So it's if you're gonna stand boldly for Yahweh well Yahweh Shah then you know he's gonna crown you, alright? So if you remain faithful unto death, you know, you're gonna get that crown, you're gonna get that, you know, glory. Alright? But for right now, you know, just humble yourself and get this wisdom, knowledge and understanding while while it may be found. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Um but yeah, man, with that, I'm going to say shalom.